Mark Savage here. What are we going to talk about today? Exhausts. Or exhausts. Hmm. Yes, this is from a Kawasaki ZZR 1400 2007. Big old one. Not the exhaust I'm actually going to be talking about today, which is from the Honda 1300 Pan European. Now, I know I said she was going to leave it. Oh, I, just, I just can't leave it sometimes. As in my other videos, Triumph, Suzuki, Kawasaki, and I don't know what Moped's doing there. Oh, chainsaw. However, I do like changing exhausts. Now, if you remember my recent video... They were on my Kawasaki SX-1000 and they sounded a nuts and I keep fighting with myself as I've still got them. They weigh probably a kilo each compared to the Kawasaki which weighs about six kilos. Now I'm guessing that the ones on here are going to weigh very similar to that, probably six odd kilos. Now. She's a heavy girl, and I've mentioned this before, and I had a little chat with someone earlier. The only way I can describe it is, you know how men and women are different? If a man weighs 16 stone, to compare to a woman weighs 16 stone, they carry it in different places, and it feels very different, looks very different. Only way I can describe this is a bloke. A 16 stone bloke, but it's 200 and odd kilos, without all the extra weights on it, and full of fuel. And some statistics say they're heavier. Bit difficult. The Triumph Trophy felt more like a bird. She was bulgier, was more higher up there. Um, so I'm wondering, do I shave a little bit of weight off? Now I did look at taking these panniers off, but to be honest with you, they don't weigh anything, you know? The Triumph ones, which is funny about them again, they were bloody heavy. They must weigh about five kilos each empty. These weigh about two kilos. And about them on, it just looks odd. You have this chunk of metal and a gap. That's how I can describe it. And from the rear, it looks like it's missing something. So, I'm going to leave the panniers on. But I do want to take these exhausts off. I think that would save me probably 10 odd kilos on the bike. Which would be a noticeable difference to the rear end anyway. We're back to these again. Now, I've looked on here. And you know what? Look at that there. They actually look like they're going to fit quite nicely. But I can't decide if I'm going to look an absolute tip. With a huge pair of cut exhausts on here. Or have a look the nuts. I mean, it's black. They should fit in nicely. I don't know. So, here's only a couple of bolts. Another bolt. Another bolt. That's what keeps them exhausts. It's, it's two, three bolts, you know. Very minimal tools. Unless it's jammed in. Again, 2002. 16 years the exhaust has been on. 47,000 miles. If they're not going to come off, I'm going to leave it and abandon it. But if I do come off, I will fit one of these. It's a V4, should sound well, not too bad. I've always worried about when you do V twins, they've got like the Versus. It just sounds like a thud, you know, like a 125 thud. If this sounds nice, it'd be a nice bonus, I guess. But it's not really what I'm after. I'm, I want to shed some weight. I've been really fighting with the idea of this lovely touring bike with my radio and sitting there with my electric screen and heated grips, whether I'm going to look at it going down the road. A lot of people I've watched on videos myself, Delkovich, people have suggested on my channel, stick a pair of Delkovich on there. It's a bit deeper grown, but again, I, I didn't see no sense in it. So I'm going to put these, try these on there, if I can get the old ones off, see what it sounds like, start it, to be honest with you, to hear what it sounds like now, because we all know it's very quiet, very minimal axle wine, you know, like the old Land Rover, you get a minimal of that, to be honest with you. My FJR sounded terrible. This one doesn't. But I don't want to be a tip down the road going roaring. So I'm hoping these won't sound too loud. But a deep roar, I'll be happy with that. In all my videos, I want to be seen and heard. And if you can't be seen and heard on a huge bike like this, then there's something seriously wrong. So, let's get my spanners out. Let's take this off. Pop these on and see what we get. There may be some wangling of this. But I reckon I can move them around a little bit to try and get them on there. With no extra bolts, they probably look quite good as well. So as I say in my videos, let's get the tools out, gloves are already on, let's get on with it. 
so as I've said before, with very, very few tools, 12 mil, it was an 8 mil in there and a 12 mil there, the exhaust was off in seconds. And here it is. And does it weigh some? Well, I reckon that's got to be, uh, that's got to be 8 kilos, got to be. So, well, that would have gone straight on and with a small adjustment on here, that would have gone lovely, but guess what? Failure. I don't know, what did it look like? I mean, alright, it's not lined up there. I don't think it looked too bad. Here's the failure part. Look. It just falls in there. No matter how much tightening I do there, that's a massive hole. And you can clearly see there. Oh, it's different. There's a baffle there as well. Huh. So, I need a sleeve on there, and I don't think I've got one. So, the answer is no. But, it does show how easy it is. I reckon I've got some adjustment on here and on here that would have brought this a bit more in, and close to there, and I could have got a small little bit of metal, and I'd have maybe got that on there like that. So... It's it's a go. It's, it's definitely not, not a go, is it? You know, that's there. The pannier's on there as well. Yeah, I think that might have looked quite nice. But I can't do it today. So this is the end. Can't do it. <laughs> we have to go on the internet now and try and find, obviously, some of them sleeves that go on there. And then I'll continue this another day, maybe. But the looks of it, though, what would you reckon? Would that have looked all right? I mean, all right, I've got to adjust it a little bit. How about put the pannier on? So obviously it's not properly fitted, but what would that look like? Do you know, it's not too bad, is it? Let's just rest it there. Oh, no, not resting it there. Come on. Be the There you go. What do you reckon? I mean, it would be slightly more back. Yeah, that looks a bit stupid like that, actually. But again, there would have been some adjustment there to fold it back a little bit. I don't reckon that's too terrible. Obviously that would have fitted further back like that. I want to buy them, I think about 20 quid, them sleeves. Tell me what you think. Yay or nay? Saving what, eight, they keep, maybe cut, saving nearly 12 kilos of weight on the bike, is that worth it? Does it look okay? I don't think it looks too bad the way I laid it back a minute ago. Can't leave the panniers off. They've got to go on. They've got to stay on there. It's not too horrible with them on. And there's only way to cut the kilos. But compared to the original, compared to that, yeah, might have a go. Okay, give me your views, please. Tell me what you think. Is it a yay or is it a nay? Should I just leave it as a proper cruiser or should I give it a little bit of originality, a bit lighter? Let me know what you think. Comments below. Cheers, take care of yourself on the road. Crap weather's here now.